What is going on YouTube? Today in this video, highly requested video, I get a lot of comments on my PSP 3000 unboxing and review for me to show you guys how to put custom firmware on the PSP 3000. So today in this video, I'm going to be doing that for you guys. But first off, what I want to show you is my PSP 3000. Here it is. Uh, if you guys watch my review, you guys already know. I uh, just changed the case. But here it is. I'm in the middle of uh, playing a ROM right now, but I'll just show that it actually is um, custom firmware. Let's just go ahead and kill the volume on this. Um, same game that I played during the review, so it's just... Oh my god, there's such a delay when playing through the camera, but as you guys can see, that is the... Um, this is one of the things that you can do when you have custom firmware on it. So the first thing that I want you to do is click on the link, the first link in the description, and we'll come back to the computer. All right, so before I start this whole process, I just want to go over some of the things that you will need for this. Of course, you need the PSP itself. You need a USB cable, regular USB, not micro USB cable, and of course, and then a computer or desktop or a laptop. So... Okay, so once when you click on the link in the description, you should get a download file like this one right here. This download file right here. What you want to do is you want to extract it. So go ahead and hit extract files. I think I clicked the wrong button. Oh, I didn't. Okay. And then once when you extract it, you want to go ahead and hook up your PSP to your computer. Okay, before I hook it up, I just want to show you guys uh, my PSP. So here it is right here. Um, this is what I have it as right now. So if we go ahead and we click on this. You guys will see I don't have nothing in here but emulators and ROMs. That's because mine had already had custom firmware on it. But as you guys can see, if I try to start it, it says the game data has been corrupted. So if you put ROMs on here and you don't have custom firmware on it, this is the message that you're going to get. Um, we can start this one up, but then it's just going to say that the um, that the data is corrupted. So... Go ahead and hook it up to the computer. Okay, so once when you hook it up to the computer, you should get a little box that pops up like this. What you want to go ahead and do is click where it says, uh, I'm going to move this back a little bit. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and click where it says um, open files. You want to double click on that. Then you want to click on uh, PSP. And then you want to click on game. Game. And then what you want to do is you want to drag the folder that you just extracted. You want to drag it into the games folder. And then once when you drag it into the games folder, we go back to the PSP. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. Actually, that step will not work. What you want to do is you want to open up. You want to open up um, the folder. You want to open up the folder. And you want to go to where it says PSP. And then you want to go to where it says game. And then the folder that you just extracted, which is this one right here, it should be the um, the G or the 66Z or the 660B10 file. You want to open that one up. You want to open this one up. My computer will respond. Then you want to click where it says PSP. And then you want to click where it says game. And then you want to drag these three or these two. You don't need the CPL flasher because that only works for the 3000 model, so you don't have to keep on restarting it and whatnot but you want to drag these three or these two onto the PSP game file so we'll do that right now alright so like I said just drag the pro update and the um, fast recovery drag that into the PSP game and then that file so just to recap what you want to do is you want to click the first link in the description it should bring you to a file that looks like like this right here like this one you want to extract it once you extract it you should get a file that looks like this you want to click on this file and then you want to go into where it says PSP game and then you want to drag the pro update and the fast recovery since I've already dragged it it's not in here but drag the pro update and the fast recovery onto the PSP game folder that is actually on your actual PSP so you want to hook it up go to game Go to PSP, go to game, 
and then drag those pro drag those two folders into here, and then we'll go back to the PSP. The way that I showed you before will not work at all. It should just corrupt the data. I have forgot to mention that step. So we're going to go back to the PSP now. So once when you go back to the PSP, go to the games, go to the memory stick, go to the games folder, and then you should have these two files, the fast recovery and the pro update. What you want to do is you want to click on the uh, pro update. It should start like normal. There's no reason why the data should be corrupted or anything like that. And once when this starts up here, you want to go ahead and you want to hit um, X to launch custom firmware. So we're going to go ahead and hit X. And then it should say that it um, has been detected and that it's complete. And then just go ahead and hit X to start the custom firmware. And then it will restart the um, PSP system. And then you guys will see um, if we hit the select button right here, a menu will pop up. So once when you hit the select button, this menu will pop up knowing that you are now on custom firmware. Now you can put ROMs and emulators and get all the free games and whatnot on your PSP so you can like overclock it and underclock it. And you can also have like this to look different, the XMB menu to look different and whatnot, but I don't like doing that. So we go into system settings and then we go into system information. Another way to prove it is that your MAC address will be model 09G. And just for a quick note, every time that you turn off your PSP, you will have to launch the fast recovery, um, the fast recovery file. So just be sure to keep that file in your save the game. You can delete this one, but just be sure to keep the fast recovery because you're going to need this in order to play your free games and in order to play your um, emulators. So that was the video on how to put custom firmware on your PSP. If you guys want me to show you how to get ROMs and show you how to get emulators, just leave a comment below and I will also make a video for that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Please be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.